We have an army of the Frostmoors versus the Dragon of Hell. This is an intense battle. Flipping heck, that is a lot of fire. Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another Mob Battle Mondays on the channel. Yes, this is the day we battle mobs for our amusement and we have a doozy up for us today. It's going to be a good one. It's one you guys have recommended for a long time. There's not a specific shout out today because so many of you guys have told me to update this mod and I just kept forgetting to be perfectly honest uh, each time I did it but we've updated it today and we are going to get on to that. But if you guys want your suggestion up on the board behind me right there make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, slap that like button and then comment down below what mob battles you want to see on the channel. You guys are still flooding in those comments. I absolutely love it it's amazing thank you so let's waste no further time and head over to the arena let's do it let's get up in here all right come on we got this we got this okay so today i have finally updated the moses mobs mod it has it has happened guys i've done it i've only gone and done it and we are going to be doing the Frostmore today versus the Lysonites. And these are the ones we have lined up for today. And I've just got to say, I like, I like, I'm liking this. I'm already picking up this new Receive Sun's Blessing uh, item. I've picked that up. Uh, or well, I've, I've noticed it is what I mean. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and I'm excited to see the Frostmore's new look. Uh, and yeah, let's do let's do it. I'm freaking excited. Okay, uh, make sure I'm in. Uh, let's turn it to hard. Okay, boom. Okay, so first of all, first thing first. What I'm noticing is his horns. His horns are more prominent, and he his texture is slightly different. Uh, he's not as white. He's got more blue streaks, more darker grey running throughout him. But I am loving this. He seems slightly bigger as well. I am loving the horns. I'm pretty sure he has the same amount of health as he, he's always had. He is looking pretty awesome and pretty sick though, I must say. I'm I'm loving it. He just looks slightly more menacing, I've got to say. So yeah, I'm freaking excited for this. So the Etten is up first today with 33 HP. Uh, it is but a taster for this guy. It's a warm-up. All right, let's do it, bro. Let's see how you get on. I'm, I'm waiting for this. Come on, come on. Don't don't even let the Etin, like, kill you, because that would be an embarrassment. My gosh, the Frostmore is taking a bit of damage, though. But he's done it. He has lost, what, about 15 HP around it. Um... Nice. I am loving his structure, though. I am loving this. That bit of crest on the head seems new as well. It just, he just looks awesome to me, guys. To be perfectly honest with you, he just looks awesome. All right. Uh, perish. I'm sorry, broski. I'm sorry. You, you stay there. All right. Now let's get up in here. The next one. We got a lobber. All right. Here we go. And I don't want to. I want to make sure I don't get his like frost charm thing. So flipping heck, the lobber is already on it. He is not wasting any time. This is fire versus ice at the its greatest. The frost wall can't get close to this guy. He needs to do something. He needs to pull something out the bag. Pretty sharpish. Uh, the lobber is like chill. He is loving life. Well, I say he's not. He's definitely not chill. He is very much on fire. Uh, just like the Frostmore. I can see the Frostmore flipping losing this battle. He's not even able to get out any ton like Arctic breath or anything like that to freeze the lobber. The lobber is backing him into a corner and it looks like it could get hands on in a second. I'm not too sure. Come on, guys. Let's see this. Frostmore is stuck. No, I think the Frostmore is done. It is done for today. That That is it. My goodness, really. 90% health still, and that Frostmore is done. Lobber absolutely murked this guy. Bear in mind, the Lobber only had 44 HP as well. That's insane. Be a guy with 250 HP. Lobber, beast, what a beast. All right, so let's rank these. So that is, oh, get rid of these. Uh, so in order of, so that lost, that one. 
Boom, boom, boom. Shake, shake the room. Now we're going to go to kill all these flipping cinders. Uh, perish. Perish beneath my steely death wand. Okay, yep. Thank you, thank you. Yep, nice. We're going to have to get rid of all these pickups as well. Don't want them in my hot bar. All right. Boom. All right. Okay, so Frostmore, back in here, bro. And now, who do we have? We have a little alpha joust. This will, this will bring your uh, confidence back up. You'll get more confident again, I believe in you. The Alpha Joust is wasting absolutely no freaking time in the slightest. Uh, my Gru is being attacked uh, for whatever reason. Flipping it. The Alpha Joust. That was nothing. That was, yeah, just a warm up for this guy, really. Uh, just to give his confidence a little boost back. He's probably feeling a little diminished via losing to the Lobber. I don't, I don't understand. I understand that. All right, let's pop that there and lose a section. Uh, where are you going, Frostmore? We have another one up for you now. We have the Cockatrice. This should be a decent battle. Cockatrice has 110 HP. Frostmore has 250. This should be a good battle. I'm liking this one. So the Cockatrice is part of the dragon side of the Lysonites mod. Uh, Frostmore is taking mad damage though. He is taking some mad damage. But the Cockatrice doesn't have the health that the Frostmore has. Here we go. That is some Tundra Breath. It is not doing hardly any damage to the Cockatrice though. Uh, let's see where the Cockatrice is at. Flipping heck. Zero HP. Damn. Damn, I take that back. He killed him. Killed him real good. Uh, whatever you guys are can get lost. Uh, wow, nice one, Frostmore. You smashed that, bro. Absolutely smashed that. All right, let's get rid of that. And let's get that to there. Okay, so let's heal this guy up. There we go. I feel like this is our winning Frostmore here. He looks undefeatable at the moment. He's strong. He's mean. He's white. He's got massive horns. I don't know what else to say about him. He's pretty cool. He's a cool dude. Quite literally. He's an ice monster. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Treant. Get up in here, bro. And attack the Frostmore. I uh, don't know why my screen's slightly flashy. Flipping heck, what was that? Was that a new ability from the Frostmore that I have not seen before? Uh, the Treant is absolutely getting murked right now. Uh, this looks like it's going to be an all-out win for the Frostmore in this battle. But will he survive against our last one? Uh, I don't think so, to be honest. Uh, Frostmore isn't really being able to like freeze the mobs in place today. But to be fair, the Treant is taking him down. Actually, I lie. The Treant is absolutely smashing it. I didn't even see the HP standards. The Frostmore has stood up on its hind legs. It's ready. That was a critical blow. My word. Uh, but all his Frost... Breath is doing no damage really to the Treant. He's not doing hardly any. The Treant is still around about 70 HP. The Frostmore is down to the 20s. It is not looking good for you today, bro. And did you just get thrown backwards as well? My flipping goodness. Okay, come on. Maybe do like another ground pound thing. You're not doing good here, bro. I think this is going to be it for you. He's going for a ground pound, is he? He's going for it. Boom. Hit him with a hard one, but that's it. That is it. Flipping heck. I don't think the Treant like ever wins. Uh, so that's a well, well done, Treant. Uh, well done, bro. It still had 90 HP left. Only went down to 68%. Nice. Flipping nice. All right. So let's get up our last battle today. We have Frostmore versus Ignibus. Let's do it. Okay, so we've hit him. And now we hit the Frostmore. And uh, depending on how this turns out, I'll probably do an army of whatever is the losing mob. Uh, yet again, the Frostmore's breath is not able to damage the Ignibus. Uh, Frostmore is going is, is pretty much dead. <laughs> He's pretty much dead. That is, is essentially over for the Frostmore before it even has begun. I uh, don't think the Ignibus has lost like any health, to be perfectly honest with you. And that's it. The Frostmore's dead. That was quick. Really, really quick. Uh, flipping heck. Okay, so let's get out an army of these guys. And let's use the mob battle uh, stick. Uh, where's the army one? The, okay. Here we go. Left click to add entities to the team with the name of this item. Is this else default? Okay, let's, let's give this a go. Um, never great with this one, so we'll see how I do with it. Okay, so we'll get an out an army of Frostmores because this is going to be super sick. Uh, so I just have to left click, uh, adding entity to default, 
adding entity to default. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, I think I'm around here, and I think I'm around here, and that I think I think I've done them all. I'm pretty sure I've done them all. Then do I just have to right click? It doesn't it doesn't really say. Uh, right click, set first. Oh gosh. All right, let's see if this works. Uh, did this has this worked? I, I have no earthly idea if that has just worked. I don't feel like it has. Let's get out the mob enrager. This one should work. Uh, all right, let's reset that. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Uh, let's go for this one. Add identity, add identity. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comment section what I did wrong with that stick. Uh, hopefully I haven't picked up all of their charms. That's what I'm hoping right, right now. Uh, all right, and then let's go for this one. Okay, so Ignibus, have you? Okay, uh, they're, they're, they're awake. They are awake and they're going for him. Flipping heck, it takes that many to freeze the Ignibus. The Ignibus, I almost can't pronounce it. He looks pretty cool though. We have an army of the Frostmores versus the Dragon of Hell. This is an intense battle. Flipping heck, that is a lot of fire. Are the Frostmores going to be able to withstand the Ignibus? Probably not. Uh, they are, they're probably all going to die. Look at him, he doesn't care. He's like, boom, fire to the face. Uh, yeah, oh, didn't mean to hit screenshot. Uh, yeah, they're all they're all perishing rather rapidly. Uh, pff, my goodness, they yeah they don't stand a chance. They are, these guys are like chilling over here. They're like, nah, I don't really want to get involved. Don't blame them to be perfectly honest, because one has just died here. Boom, that one. On to the next one. Uh, <laughs> flipping it. There is, I did spawn quite a lot in, didn't I? My word. Okay, that one's probably going to die next. Uh, is it going down? Is it going to die? I think it, yeah, he did. He did, did. It's going to be this one up next. That one's still trying to back him up. So what we could tell so far... Flipping head, they did it! Flip, flipping egg! It took, what, seven of them to take down the Ignibus? My goodness. Okay, fair flipping play. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's mob battle. Looking at the new and improved Frostmore, I love him. I want to know what you guys think about him in the comment section down below. Uh, as I said, I'm personally a massive fan of this new design. It looks sick. It looks awesome. Um, but yeah, I want to know what you guys think about that. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that. And uh, yeah, guys, till next time, see ya.